Hello everybody and welcome to Scale Modeling and welcome to part 10 of our Mini Art M3 Lee tank build. So we got quite a bit of photo etch all finished up in the last video and now we're moving on to um, the underside and the wheels which, which we'll be attaching the tracks to. Now on here there's a few bits I've left out. Um, there's a hatch that goes on the front there. These all need to be painted before I glue them on. The, in, the insides of them have to be done white. And uh, so I'm just going to keep them aside. Obviously we've got the top of um, here, which I'm going to do later. That, that'll be done afterwards when we do the exterior of the tank. And here's all our um, gun that's going to sit on the inside. The top is just sitting there like that. Okay, so... Yeah, and that's going to go on the inside. All right, so that's where we're at. So let me let me just bring over the instruction book, and I'll show you what we'll be working on for this video. Okay, so step 82, and we've got a couple of little parts to go under the front there, where there's some um, anchor points for uh, towing for towing. So that'll go on there. That's pretty simple. Going across here, we've got A and B, so we're, we're starting on um, part of the wheel section. This is step 83. Okay, so here we've got the um, wheels going on the spindles there. And be careful here because there's a few points here that it's saying we're not, not to glue. Obviously, we want them to turn, so we'll be aware of those. A and B is referring to front and back of the plate that it goes on here. So we've got front and back. Uh, and it'll be looks like we're working on the right hand side of the tank and there'll be one two three sections going on so uh yeah that looks interesting it does say time six so maybe there's oh i think there's two parts to each section so we'll figure it out but at the moment um i'll go put those parts on and then i'll get these bits off and ready and we'll have a look at it and we'll we'll figure out um what's the best way to tackle this okay i'll be back in a second okay welcome back again so i just want to give you a bit of a issue i came across um so these little brackets that go around the wheels see that there first of all there's that tiny little piece that you got to glue in which i've just done a few seconds ago but what no, the problem i found is that the actual wheels um, when you go to put them on, right now it slides down beautifully and it fits there, but they don't, okay? If I take one that I haven't fixed, this one, yeah, either that, that spindle's too big or the hole's too small. So this is just the first two wheels I've taken off. I'm assuming they'll all be like that. So what you're going to need to do is drill them out, okay? So what I've done is... I'm using the icky sticky tungsten um, drill bits there, okay, and the size I've used is a 2.2 mil, okay, there it is out of there, and there it is there, and that will be perfect, and all you need to do, and this is the one I haven't done yet, okay, or have I, no I haven't, yes I have, yes that one's already been done. So that's fine. This one hasn't. Yeah, so pretty much just drill that hole out like that. In and out. And that's going to pull out enough plastic that now, if I go to carefully put it on here, and there we go. Slides on there perfectly. All right, so there we go. It's very fiddly stuff. You've got to trim up. These are connected by four four parts onto the sprue, as you can see here. So that needs to all be tidied up and, and sanded off. Again, I'm using these glass files, also from Icky Sticky. Okay, so brilliant for that. Um, and, of course, that tiny little piece, I've just touch glued that in with some of the glue here. So that'll be fine. This is for the other side. Um, the other wheel is going to go on that one there. All right, so just for your reference, drill bit is a 2.2 mil. Okay, and it, it's the perfect size. 
All right, um, I'll continue on. I put those little hooks on the front of the tank, just off picture, and uh, now we're just working on these. So I'll come back with a bit more progress, and if there's any issues, I'll let you know. Also remember, these are not glued, which is why I was so concerned when they wouldn't go on. They were so tight. I thought surely if it says no glue that they meant to turn and i will give a, a shout out to mr jeff donahue um who i contacted and with his experience with mini art and tanks and he said yeah if you're forcing them on then something's not right so he suggested drilling them out i've done that so thumbs up thank you jeff all right i will continue on be back in a sec all right back with a bit more information so I've got these clamped because it's the only way I've got to be able to glue them properly. Now, the little pins that go between the two supports for the wheels, right? Um, they're just a fraction too long. You'll find that when you're trying to put this across and then on the top of that spindle there, that it doesn't fit flush because these pins are just a little bit too long. So you need to go along and just take off like a one millionth of a millimeter <laughs> that's all it takes and and then use a pair of tweezers and guide it into the location point there is location points at each end for the pin um, but i would like like you saw me before i glued one end in first and then i went and touched that in there and then i just used some um, ca i mean some uh, cement and just touched around there so the wheels turn that's good um, I, I never put a piece of a bit of glue in the top here because it's almost it would be almost impossible to do that without it getting onto the wheel and then causing it not to turn see so um, yeah so you just got to take your time be very accurate with it and it'll be right I don't think there'll be a need to put any glue on that um, and if you were to do it you would probably be best to do with some CA glue with, like I have, a very tiny little applicator, just so you can just touch the center of that hub and it won't go anywhere else. So when that comes onto it, it'll stay. But I, I, I think this will be fine. I think this will stay um, okay. We'll see when it dries. All right, so now I'm going to move on. That was A and B done. That's A and B. Now we need to go over to C and we'll put these parts together. Again, no glue for these going on to that. So we'll see how that fits. Uh, and then we come across and it looks like all the three sections, including an extra piece there, all go together. But we'll get to that when we jump ahead. All right, I'll be back again. I'll get those parts off. I think it's like we're saying, it says we've got to do three. So let's just... Well, actually, it says we're going to do six of these sets because here they are here. One, two, three, and obviously three on the other side. So we'll get through one in this video and then off camera, I'll go put all the, I'll do all the uh, tedious work of putting all the other ones together. <laughs> all right, so I'll be back with these parts off and we'll see how well they fit together. All right, so part C which is these three pieces here. There they are there. Um, they do fit, no problem. Um, no need to drill anything out on those. Um, just make sure that they're straight. That's why I'm using this tile here. Make sure everything's nice and level. And uh, it's all good. So I can put that aside now. And then we'll go on to um, these pieces that need to go here. So there's part C, A and B, which are the wheels. We've got one, two, three pieces here. So um, I'll get those parts off, clean them up. And again, no glue to be used on certain areas of this as well. This little spindle in the center looks like it doesn't have any glue. All right, so I'll get those parts off, clean them up, and we'll come back and take a look. Okay, so what I've done is I've got all the parts ready, and they're all test fitted. I highly recommend you test fit everything before you actually glue anything. Um, this part here, so I'll point with uh, this. So I've just glued that in. There's no reason why it doesn't say you can glue that, so that's fine. 
Um, this little piece on the back is not glued in and it doesn't get glued in. So it's just going to sit there. And then this part will clamp over the top. So what I'll do is I will put a bit of glue for the top of that to go in there. And then this edge will be glued onto there. Okay, if you can see that in there. And while and that little piece will go into that like that. That's it there pretty much. Alright, that just went on. Alright. But we've still got to put the wheels on. Now be careful you put them on there, make sure they go up the right way. There's this little bump on on here that you can make sure you got it up the right way. And looking at the instructions you'll know. But uh, it's going to go right, which we're going to have to look at it. So that one is going to go in there. So there's a little point in there where that'll sit, and there's one up in the hole here at the top. I think after I've glued this, I, I have been able to push this in and get it to go. So that'll sit in there like this, and then it'll go like that. And that's the way one will go, all right, there, and there, and then I can let it go, I can't, it's not glued on, but once it is, that'll fit in there tight, okay, I'm also using a tile with a piece of blue tack there to hold that bottom piece in place, it's because I just don't have five hands, <laughs> it's a bit like that, so, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to, glue that carefully down into there and um, we'll come back before I put these on and have a look all right I'll back again in a second okay back again and amazingly these went together okay so when I um, like I said I attached I glued the, the part around the side before I put those wheels in right and then once I once they are in, in place I just slip the wheels in. There's two little nubs where they go in the top and bottom. And that's no problem. They fit in there fine. And then the second one goes in the other way. And they, they lock in place there. See the way that shape is there? They, they've locked in place so that they're, they're at the right angle. Um, and so what I've done was I just used some uh, glue across there. So that's pretty much it for that one. So I can take that off now. There it is there. That's going to go against the tank, I think, that way. Yeah, that's on the outside. All right. So that's how they look. That looks okay. All right. Um, they turn. So that's what we want. And this part at the back here also turns. So all good. Or well, on the top it is. Okay, try and get the orientation. It's up against the tank that way. And there they go. So... That's one of uh, six I'm going to make. All right, so let's make an up. No, I'm just joking. I'll, I'll do them off camera. It's exactly the same process. So, uh, yeah, so I can put that aside. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give, I saw this part here. This is step 84. And it's just one of the wheels with a hub. And there's another piece in there some wheel nuts and these are two bits of photo etch all right and they go here because i was wondering where's that going i couldn't see where's 84 and i checked over in the next pages because usually you know it could be steps ahead but no there it is over here so it's this guide wheel that sits on the um the rear of the tank there and it will connect onto that part there all right there it is there so what I'll do is now I'll make up one of those. We need to do two, one for each side. But I'll get one made up. I'll get all the parts here and we'll have a look. And we'll, particularly with the photo etch, we'll, we'll attach that all together. But let me come back when I've got the parts all here trimmed up and ready to go. Okay, so here is the uh, that rear wheel. Um, now, I'm not sure, but I think there may be a mistake in the, in the instructions here. Uh, we'll see but here we've got the piece of photo etch there is another piece I haven't taken off yet it's still on here there's two pieces on each wheel 
basically it goes inside the rim like that and then the other piece will sit on the other side there not a problem um, the trick with the photo etch is make sure you've got the edges perfectly smooth so you have to you know try not to bend this because it'll go on a lot easier and sit flatter but there's a little nub there you'll feel that with your finger where those connection points were need to sand those off really really carefully and then and then it's going to sit in there perfectly now inside here inside the hub now i've already glued it on but there was that little this piece here this is d28 that little piece there sits inside and then the cap sits on top i think that you don't glue that all right even though it doesn't say like this piece here where it says no glue there's nothing here to tell you not to glue it but I think don't glue that because when we come over here and we want to fit it on the back here, there's a little spindle that's going to go and sit inside there. And I think we're going to want that to turn. I mean, wh why not? All these have to, all these turn. So I'm guessing this should be turning as well. So I'd say just sit it in there like I have. If you look at the other side, you see it's in there. So that when that spindle goes and sits into that, I think this will still turn, All right? But if you were to glue that in there, um, once that piece goes on there, it may not fit. Uh, it may not. The wheel may not turn. All depends on how tight that fit is. Let me grab that piece now, and we'll just do a test fit, and and see how tight that wheel's going to sit on there. All right. I'll be back in a sec okay so what i've done is um you can ignore everything i just said before because it doesn't matter if you glue that or not because the way this is set up you can see that little flat piece there it's going to sit right flat inside there like that and that needs to be glued in so that wheel is not going to turn anyway it's not meant to so you don't have to worry about it all right and that's going to go onto the side of the tank like that so yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that doesn't turn, so you should be okay. All right, I'm going to go finish putting this together. Not with that yet, because that's in the next step. But uh, we'll get these, this and the other piece of photo etch on and see how it looks. Okay, back in a sec. All right, back again, and here we go. We've got the photo etch rings on, one on that side and one on that side. So um, that piece is done. Now what I was doing also was I was just testing the fit of this piece on the back of our tank here, see? And what I found out was that the, the larger end of it doesn't actually fit in the hole there. The smaller piece does, which is what I thought was the end that goes into here. But apparently not. It's the larger bit that goes in there. All right? So... If you're doing this, and I would, yeah, I'm a little bit unsure of how that's going to go, um, because when the tracks go on, it doesn't exactly show you how to put the tracks on. We'll have a look at the instructions here, see? So there's our wheel that's going to go on there, okay, with this little piece here. Now, I'd like that to be a little bit adjustable, so that once the tracks are sitting in there, then I could place the wheel in there just to stretch them out and make them nice and taunt in the way I want them to fit on there. Uh, rather than gluing that in place um, uh, permanently in one position, because it's, it's an odd position. This is sticking out, you know, and I, you know what I'm trying to say, I hope. Um, the tracks here, it's telling you here, that putting all the track links together. Then there's um, 12 of these little pieces that go in there. All right, but when we go over, well, there is no how to put the tracks on. This just shows the tracks already on. So what I'm thinking is don't attach that at this point. Leave that off. These will probably be okay to go on, but don't put that on. And don't glue that center hub, um, just in case you do need to be able to turn it. Because uh, I noticed here that the center hub inside this section here that goes on the front, it's got a no glue on it whereas this 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 part didn't anyway 
So there we go. That's where we're up to. So what I've got to do now is I'm going to do this in my own time so you don't have to watch and put together another six of these. Okay. And another one of those for the other side. And then we'll be fine. We'll be able to um, progress further. So I'm going to end the video here. It's a bit of a shorter one today. But you can see I've got a lot of work to do. And um, when we come back, uh, we'll come back to the point where all of these tracks, will, all these wheels will be done. And we'll be able to put them all on. And um, yeah, see how that goes. All right. So thank you all for watching again. Um, next one will be part 11. We're getting there. We're getting quite good progress. Um, even though it seems like there's a lot, there is literally only about three pages left. <laughs> Finally. All right. Don't forget, um, subscribe if you haven't. Join if you like. Become a member to help support the channel. That'd be fantastic if you did do that. Only cost the price of a cappuccino a month to do that. And also join me on my live streams every weekend. Your comments are welcome below. And don't forget our Facebook Hangout group is there for you so I can see what you're building. All right. And all those links are in the description below. All right. Enough of me waffling on. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Cheers. Bye.